arteries are deeply placed. Veins are superficially placed. Just beneath the skin, whichever is present, which is visible to us, that is actually a vein. And arteries are deeply placed, they are not visible from external, from external conditions, so you cannot see arteries. <coughs> and we just saw its structure. It is more thicker. These are less thicker. The lumen, it has a small lumen. It has a large lumen. In case of veins, the cavity inside the veins is large. But cavity inside arteries is smaller. And in case of veins, there are valves. Valves are present. In case of arteries, walls are absent. Walls are absent. In case of blood vessels, there are walls to facilitate unidirectional flow. So when blood is flowing in this direction, walls are open, blood moves forward. When the blood wants to come back, walls are closed. So it will facilitate unidirectional flow. Walls are present only in veins. Arteries. Arteries. They are pumping blood. Pump blood away from heart. Now we call something an artery when it pumps blood away from the heart. So any blood vessel which takes blood away from heart is called as an artery. brings blood towards heart. Veins or blood vessels which bring blood towards the heart. Hmm? This is heart. So this is a blood vessel which takes blood away from heart. So it is called as an artery. This is a blood vessel which is bringing blood towards the heart. In case of arteries, walls are absent. In case of veins, walls are present. Now if I take the blood vessel, so you can see presence of walls. Presence of walls is characteristic feature of walls in case of veins. Now when blood is flowing in this direction, walls are open. And uh, after the blood has flown in one direction, it has flowed in one direction. If the blood wants to come back in the reverse direction, the walls are closed. Walls always facilitate unidirectional flow of blood. right? So walls are present only in veins. In case of arteries, there are no walls. And then, yeah, yeah. an artery is a blood vessel which, which pumps blood away from heart. A blood vessel which takes blood away from heart is called as an artery. A blood vessel which brings blood towards the heart is called as a vein. So based on direction. But there are exceptions. The exceptions are only pulmonary artery and pulmonary vein. <coughs> pulmonary artery, pulmonary veins. Pulmonary veins we discussed. Pulmonary veins are coming from lungs. It is coming towards the heart. But internally it is having oxygenated blood. Before that, arteries, they have oxygenated blood inside. Arteries contain oxygenated blood. Veins contain deoxygenated blood. When I say deoxygenated blood, it is blood with carbon dioxide. So oxygenated blood is present in arteries. Deoxygenated blood is present in veins. Exception is pulmonary artery, pulmonary vein. In case of pulmonary artery, Pulmonary artery is originating from this area. So it is originating from the right ventricle. It contains deoxygenated blood. It is pulmonary artery. Pulmonary veins, 
pulmonary veins four are four are present they are opening into left atrium four are opening they are coming and opening into left atrium and they contain oxygenated blood that is the only exceptions but generally all arteries carry oxygenated blood all veins carry deoxygenated blood arteries they pump blood at high pressure they pump blood under high pressure whereas in case of veins blood is passing in low pressure in lesser pressure because the arteries start from the heart the blood is pumped under high pressure but in case of veins the blood is pumped in not under that high pressure with little uh, lower pressure the the blood is moving towards the heart in case of arteries the color of arteries is deep red it is deep red in color or bright red in color in case of veins they are dark red in color now because arteries contain oxygenated blood the blood is bright red in color when it is oxygenated when it is when the blood is mixed with carbon dioxide i mean the de deoxygenated blood so veins are not bright red it is bluish or bluish black or bluish red in color dark red in color and the elastic lamina there are two elastic lamina here in case of arteries we saw one elastic lamina is present inside and one outside tunica media but in case of veins there is a single elastic lamina the single elastic lamina is that layer which is present towards inside not the outside hmm? so there is a difference between the arteries and veins now arteries they are deeply placed whereas veins are superficially present just beneath the skin arteries if you see the thickness of artery thickness of arteries they are more thicker in case of veins they are less thicker lumen arteries they have less lumen whereas in case of veins they have a larger lumen walls are present only in case of veins in case of arteries walls are not necessary already blood is moving under high pressure arteries are that blood vessels which pump blood away from the heart whereas in case of veins they bring blood towards the heart and all arteries generally contain oxygenated blood except pulmonary artery all veins contain deoxygenated blood except pulmonary veins and blood is passing through arteries under high pressure whereas in case of veins they are not under high pressure they are under little lower less blood pressure and arteries are bright red in color whereas in case of veins they are little darker in color because of presence of carbon dioxide inside and in case of arteries either side of tunica media contains elastic lamina but in case of veins there is a single elastic lamina towards inside that means in between tunica media and tunica interna